Hello and welcome to another painting video. In this video I'll be painting an Orc Commando Bomb Squig. This little critter is one of my favorite models in the Octarius box. Isn't he cute? And deadly. Let's begin, shall we? First I'll start with the biggest area which is the skin. I start base coating with Screamer Pink. Then I shade everything in Kerelberg Crimson. The first layer is Pink Horror. I try to paint all the raised areas. Then the first highlight which is Emperor's Children. And finally a highlight of Palette Switch Flash. Squigs come in many colors and I thought pinkish red was the way to go as my commandos are evil sons after all. With the biggest part out of the way I'll start with all the details. First I paint the tongue with Zerus purple. I highlight a part of the tongue with Gene Stealer purple. And I add a final highlight of Slanish Grey. The teeth and claws I base coat with Usapti Bone. Then I shade them with Skeleton Horde. And highlight with Screaming Skull. First I want to base coat the eyeballs with Wraithbone. This is because I want to shade the eyes with Yenden Yellow. Then I layer Flash Kids Yellow to make the eyeballs bright yellow. With Abaddon Black I paint a pupil. Make sure you have a brush with a very fine tip. Lastly I use White Scar to paint another dot over the pupil to simulate a reflection. The squig is starting to look a lot better now with all those small details painted. Now on to the weaponry. I'll be painting two types of straps on this model. The brown straps get a base coat of Mornfang Brown. Then a highlight of Scrag Brown. And a second highlight of Deathclaw Brown. The dynamite is flying away, but before that happens, I base go them in corn red. Then I shade the dynamite with Agrax Earth Shade. I layer Evil Sun Scarlet on the parts where the light hits. And I highlight with Wild Rider Red. The straps holding the dynamite and the antenna I base coat with Abaddon Black. And highlight with Celestra Grey. All the bombs are painted with Iron Warriors. And then shaded in Agrax Earthshade. Finally, I highlight all the metal with Rune Fang Steel. For the wire, I chose the color blue. I base coat with Cantor Blue. And a highlight of Temple Guard Blue. And here we have a bomb squick, running like a rabbit dog to whatever he sees moving, I'm sure. Together with the Nurglings, I have a big weakness for these little mouth with legs. And I'm glad they finally started to look a lot better nowadays. Remember all those old Squig models? Yeesh. What color did you paint your Squig? Let me know in the comments. Also, check out my Instagram where I post pictures of projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, thanks for watching.